This demonstration will give you an overview of NX Progressive Die Design. NX Progressive Die Design is a state-of-the-art solution for streamlining the die design process by supporting a step-by-step -step workflow that ensures quality and associativity at every stage of the die. In NX, the Progressive Die Design application can be found under the Start menu. Once the application is launched, the Progressive Die Design toolbar is displayed. This toolbar is organized to follow a specific workflow for designing dies. In this demonstration, we'll design a progressive die for this straight break sheet metal part. If we check the part history, we see that the part is unparametric, meaning it has no feature data. Let's use feature recognition to automatically generate features from this solid body. The feature recognition command is found under the sheet metal tools toolbar. We'll use the auto recognition to have NX search the part geometry and identify potential features. As you can see, NX has automatically recognized the following features. Next, we'll rebuild this part using these parametric features. This will take a few seconds to generate. Using the part navigator, we can investigate the various newly created sheet metal features. Features contain the recipe for creating part geometry, such as the profile, thickness, and flange length. So with that, we can get started and start the die design process. We'll begin by initializing the project. Initializing the project allows us to specify the project path and name, part thickness, and material type. Let's specify a material for this part. By specifying the material type, sheet metal properties, such as the K-factor, are defined and will be used in downstream operations. The various material properties are stored in predefined customizable spreadsheet. It contains ratios for bend radius, material thickness, and operation type. Since we've generated features for this part, we can use them to automate the definition of bending punches and piercings. Let's take a look at the feature preprocess command. We will use feature preprocess to associate geometric features to manufacturing operations. Let's specify a Z-bend punch for these two flanges. We'll select these flanges and specify a manufacturing process for them. As you can see, various Z-Bend options are presented. We'll choose Z-Bend 1 to specify an operation that will create a Z-Bend in one punch. Notice here that the sheet metal properties we specified during the project initialization have been automatically incorporated into the bend definition. Once the Z-Bend process is defined, it will be used downstream when we design the strip and die. Next, we'll define the blank geometry. NX will automatically use the feature definition to automatically unfold the part. Once the part has been unfolded, we will select Blank Layout to define the nest. Blank Layout provides capabilities to define various nesting configurations and orientations, 2-up, 3-up, etc. Options on the dialog can be used to control the placement, pitch width, and side webs along the strip. The blank layout dialog also provides a real-time material utilization calculation. Notice here that if I specify a new pitch and width, the material utilization is automatically updated. Next, let's use scrap design to specify the scrap profiles. The scrap dialog enables the ability to define the various piercing and piloting scrap. In other words, how to cut the strip. For demonstration purposes, we have already sketched the individual scrap profiles and split each scrap. Each piece of scrap is represented by a unique body. Now we are ready to design the strip. Strip layout provides the ability to specify feed direction, the number of stations, the various processes that occur at each station. Strip layout also provides a drag and drop user interface for specifying a process for each station. We'll select the pilot scrap to add to the strip layout. Notice that as we add the scrap to the strip layout, it appears in the strip work window. Let's add some other scrap to the strip layout. We can select multiple pieces of scrap at one time and add them to the strip. Notice how these scrap appear in the strip work window. Once we have defined all the necessary processes and stations, we can perform a simulation. Strip layout simulation creates a solid body representation of the actual physical strip based on our defined processes. This model of the strip can be used for design validation and quoting purposes. Force calculations can also be performed. Force calculation is a tool that helps validate each process's force, overall force, and force center to balance the die. The total force is calculated and displayed. The force center is also displayed on the model to help balance the die. Next we'll go ahead and add the die base. NX Progressive Die Design contains out-of-the-box die bases and also enables the ability to create custom die bases. Die bases are fully parametric and can be easily defined, controlled, 
changed and updated. Various types of die bases are available within the out of the box catalog. Here we have added a 10 plate die base that already contains predefined component sets. Let's check the die design settings. Die design settings provide various die base parameters that will be applied throughout the design process. For demonstration purposes, we've jumped ahead and designed many of the piercing punches, dies, and other inserts. Let's look at how we can use NX to design a piercing insert. We'll select this scrap and load a standard punch. We'll specify the type of punch, specify the diameter, and click apply. The punch is automatically positioned relative to the scrap. Next we'll specify the type of die insert, specify the diameter, and click apply. The die is also automatically positioned relative to the scrap. Next, we'll define the slug hole. The slug hole cavity and clearance parameters are automatically defined and can be overridden if desired. The slug hole is created and will be used to cut the die plates in a downstream operation. Next, let's design the bending punch and die for this Z-Bend. NX Progressive Die Design automates the design of dies with a large catalog of standard parts for manufacturing operations. We'll select the bend geometry and specify the type of punch. NX Progressive Die Design will automatically calculate the size of the punch. Notice how the bending punch is created and automatically positioned. Now we'll define the bending die. We will specify the type of die. Again, the size parameters will be automatically calculated. Let's now check the Relief Design command. Relief Design is used to design relief for bending and forming features in the die plate. Next, let's take a look at the Pocket Design. Pocket Design is used to automate the cutting of pockets in the die plates for various inserts and standard parts. With NX Progressive Die Design, the bill of materials is automatically created and updated as the die design evolves. Assembly and component drawings can also be automatically created. Let's create a drawing for this top plate. Hole report is used to quickly create hole tables on drawings. That concludes this demonstration. Thank you.